at its core, my work is focused on natural processes and materials that reference cyclic life on the earth and the body. Encaustic is my primary medium, and my process of layering, scraping, and excavating the layers replicates nature's destructive power, as well as its regenerative abilities. Currently, my work explores the more mysterious side of both humans and nature by utilizing landscape and Earth's anomalies as metaphor to reflect on human emotion, memory, mortality, and spiritual growth through struggle or loss. I'm particularly interested in the hidden, darker parts of the Earth and human psyche, how they are masked, and what happens when those parts are revealed. My inspiration comes from stories, poems, and song lyrics depicting struggle, inner demons, desires, and vulnerabilities, and I handwrite those stories on the back of the paintings for some context into the abstraction. I use collaged images as another form of paint to illustrate those stories, and often the collaged images are so integrated into the painted forms, they become camouflaged and only reveal themselves upon close inspection. Those hidden elements are most often insects, snakes, and other scary things, while flowers, gems, and pretty things are more overt. What the viewer notices first about the work are those pretty things, like strangers with candy and the most gorgeous poisonous flower. The story on the back of the painting, The Balance of Water, is an excerpt from Making a Pearl from the Grid of Life by Sharon Rainey. The desert and the ocean are realms of desolation on the surface. The desert is a place of bones where the innards are turned out to desiccate into dust. The ocean is a place of skin, rich outer membranes hiding thick, juicy insides laden with the soup of being. Inside out and outside in, these are worlds of things that implode or explode, and the only catalyst that determines the direction of eco-movement is the balance of water. Both worlds are deceptive and dangerous, both seething with hidden life, The only veil that stands between perception of what is underneath the desolate surface is your courage. Dare to breach that surface and sink.